This is the inaugural day of the three megawatt solar farm that was built by Tig Sun Energy, a member of the Intertech Group in collaboration with Santee Cooper and the State Electric Cooperatives. This is actually the largest solar farm in South Carolina now. We really appreciate the partnership with Intertech, Anita Zucker and Grant Reeves. This was a great example of teamwork. Santee Cooper is the leader in renewable generation in South Carolina and this being the first utility scale solar facility is a natural addition to our portfolio. And second, solar power is becoming very popular, it's in the news, and we need to understand it as a utility. We need to understand how it reacts, how it affects the system, we need to understand how it affects our reliability, and this is a great facility for us to study and understand solar better. I do want to commend the state's electrical co-op and Santee Cooper's leadership for bringing this first in the state utility scale project to fruition right here in Colleton County. As the cost of solar energy declines, this solar farm will provide valuable economic and operational experience for future solar installations. The power from this site is interconnected through Coal Selected Cooperative's distribution system. Uh, into our local Walterboro substation, then into the transmission network of uh, Central and Santee Cooper. We are, Coastal, are the um, interconnect. Uh, we interconnect the facility here. Uh, we bring it out back out to a substation into the Santee Cooper transmission grid, which then is tied to the generation grid. And so the power can flow um, anywhere to any customer uh, in the Santee Cooper system. We've got two different types of panels at this facility. We've got some that are fixed, which will not move, and then we've got some that actually track with the sun. And if you watch them over the course of the day, they'll be pointing one direction in the morning and be pointing the opposite direction in the afternoon. And part of the reason we did that, the fixed panels, you know, like I said, will not move, but they're cheaper. Uh, the trackers actually have a little bit more cost. So at the end of the day, we're trying to measure the amount of the extra energy we get out of the trackers compared to the extra cost and you know part of the study of this project is which is more beneficial overall.